This video shows how to test the assumption of homogeneity of variances for the mixed ANOVA and R. First, let me explain what this actually is. Homogeneity of variances means equal variances across the groups for each point in time. Or put another way, at each point in time, you compare the variances for the test variable of the groups. First, an eye test can be helpful. One can use the convenient dplyr package and pipes. Start with the group by function and put in your time and group variable. For convenience, here simply time and group. Follow this up with the pipes operator and use the get underscore summary underscore stats function on your test variable. Here simply value. And within quotation marks give mean underscore sd as the type for desired stats. The last column is of interest here. Compare the standard deviation, which is the square root of the variance of your groups for each point in time. t0, t1, t2 and so forth. If they are roughly equal, you should be fine. A deviation of 10 to 20% is also still somewhat acceptable. If you need to do a Levine's test, you can use the pipe friendly Levine underscore test function of the R aesthetics package. Be warned though, that the Levine's test, like any other analytical test, will produce small p-values with an increase in sample size. This can increase the chances of committing a type 1 error or falsely rejecting the null hypothesis of equal variances. Despite all that, start with your data frame. Add the pipe operator and use the group by function with your time variable. Do this because you want to test for each point in time. Then add another pipe operator and use the Levine underscore test function and put in your test variable, tilde and your group variable. The default testing using this function will use the more robust version with the median instead of the mean, which is at least a plus. For interpretation, look at the p column and for small values, usually below 0.05 or 0.01. If you want to push it, you can, when you have a larger sample, set your alpha to 0.001. In my case, I'm lucky and have equal variances across my groups for each point in time. I can therefore continue with the mixed ANOVA or check the other assumptions. 